I want to see who goes home next. <laughs> the show is repulsive. So please, yes. Okay. We'll do episode two then. We'll do episode two then if you want to. Okay. Episode two of Instant Influencer James Charles's knockoff RuPaul's Drag Race. Let's go for it. Ooh. Previously on Instant Influencer. Hi, sisters. Hi, Hi sisters. sisters. I have something extra special for you. Last year, I started the search to find the next. How did you have that many people and you chose the most boring group of people? Congratulations, you are the winner of the first compact talent. She slayed. There were highs, eyes, and things in edit. They better not do lows of her of bubbles crying. You guys are hot. And there were lows. This looks a little bit more simplistic. I need a little bit of work with the details. But in the end, you have been eliminated. Only not bubbles. Can become an instant influencer. Come on, you guys. Uh oh, he's on the lookout for the two younger ones. Influencer week number two. It is currently. 5.05 oh, in the morning and the sun is not... Mm, I wonder whose hotel room he's going to. ...the hotel that all the contestants are staying at. And that is because we're about to give them a little bit of a rude awakening with today's combat challenge. Good morning. Oh my god, the difference in his face and neck is crazy. Good morning, Benny. The first door he went to was Benny, the youngest one. Mm. Good morning, Benny. <laughs> Rise and shine. Good morning. Did you just wake up? I, yeah, I'm really like in underwear and everything. Throw on some pants. Let's go. Okay. I'm wondering what does James have up his little bathrobe sleeve? Cause child, I'm tired. Oh, so he I he might show you, so don't. I'm excited because honestly, I think we're going to a spa. Right. Right? All right, you guys, I know you probably hate me right now, but I promise that there's a good reason behind today's compact challenge. As an influencer, getting ready fast is a very vital skill. You guys are gonna be challenged with getting fully red carpet ready in only 30 minutes. I'm really nervous. I have never gotten ready in 30 minutes. Okay, let's go. Is that why James oh, looks like that? Hour, so this is just gonna be a little tough for me. <laughs> oh my God, did you see that lighting? to be a little tough for me. <laughs> ah, ooh. <laughs> Let's go. I love a sprinter van. Don't worry, you guys. I've never been in a car accident. Ah! Let's go. Come on, come on. Your 30 minutes starts right now. I'm ready ooh, to ooh. the closet so that I can get the products that I need and go back to my desk and push out a bomb look. Ah, because I know that I can get this done and I know that I can win this challenge. I think I'm just gonna put my foundation with my fingers because I do not want to waste any time. I have never gotten ready in 30 minutes in my entire life, so my best strategy is to literally just slap on my base so I can focus on my eyes. I'm going to let my eyes do all the talking from here on out, nothing else. Way too early for this. Oh my god, way too much. Oh, uh, I miss bubbles. I want bubbles back again. Getting ready 30 minutes isn't a crazy concept, but a red carpet event? I have no idea how to do that type of glam in 30 minutes. Okay, concealer not coming through. What the f is the shade? Oh no. Oh my God, gray the house. Oh, please. Complete. Gray the house down Houston, I'm deceased. Fruity McPebbles. Does anyone know that Jeffrey video? I'm a pink bitch. I'm sweating so bad. I'm literally just rushing and doing whatever I can. God, this, these looks from the young one, they're always bad. All right, you guys, we have less than one minute remaining. Oh my God. Just need gloss, just need gloss, just need gloss. Where's lip gloss? You better stay on. I'm really happy with the precision in my makeup. Wait, everyone looks bad. What the fuck? Five, four, three, two, one. Make them down. We're done! Ah. Oh my god. <laughs> 30 minutes is up and Benny sticks out the most. He looks flawless. His looks so good. I'm getting a little bit nervous. Maybe this look was not the right call. Okay, you guys can go ahead and get dressed quickly. We're running to an event because we're running late. And then you guys can come back here and we'll take a look at your makeup looks up close and personal. That's what sleep deprivation will do to you. Hello, you guys. Hello. Come on over. Come on over. Wow, look at these incredible red carpet events. Ashley looks flawless. Benny has perfect skin. 
And then mine looks like crap. I don't know how this is gonna pan out. Welcome back. We're gonna start with Kaylin, the winner of last week's challenge. Pressure's on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, tell me about this look. I really wanted to focus on making the skin good, and then I just wanted to make sure that lashes. Oh, good. she kind of looks a mess. Lashes can do you so much. Yeah. Then I did a peach tone shadow for my. She looks like she put highlighter over her entire face. She looks a yeah. mess. I think it looks super good. I love the pop of blue. It really brings out your eyes so gorgeously. My one note for you would actually be in the foundation looking a little bit cakey, especially underneath the eye area in regards to the lashes. I would have loved to see a more simple lash or actually trimming off the last like spike oh. of them because they're kind of pulling down your eyes a little bit. But overall, you look beautiful as always. Thank you. And the okay. on. Hello, sister. Hi. I am known for like being like bright, crazy, and out there, so I did translate that. Ooh. This is bad too. And I don't. There's so many tones going on here that is like. <laughs> What? These were the best of the best, by the way. And this look by doing a little graphic liner and the pop of color. Yes. Yeah. I think it looks really good. I love that you did a pop art yes. like type, yes. which I think is super, super cool. I love the pop of yellow as well. I think it really is a nice contrast with the black. The black. They did have 30 minutes though. We're told that these are the best of the best, which means that we can judge them. Bubbles would have slayed this. Bubbles would have slayed. Just in terms of yeah, I didn't even do them at all. Yeah. Okay. Well, luckily you have thick brows to right. with, but yeah. that can definitely be something that comes up in photos. But for sure. the eyes, I love the luck. Thank you. Moving on to Betty. Hi. Hello, girl. Hi. You look beautiful. Thank you so much. Okay, tell me about this look. So I wanted to match my outfit. <laughs> These are the best. <laughs> the best of the best. Outfit, because I love pink. It's like my favorite color. Yes. And I want to kind of. Are you kidding me? With with this, I I I shadow. Are you kidding me? Symbolize it with my um glowy base. And if I was to go out and I had no time, yeah. I would put this on and go out and slay. Yeah. I think this look is very very cohesive and well put together. <laughs> Sometimes simple is better. Yes. My note for you: your inside of your lashes popping yeah. off a little bit. So I would love to see it just a little bit more time taken with that. I actually have on like. An James just said this is very cohesive. Yeah. So the eyelash kind of like popped out. And the inner corners are watery. Sometimes what I do is I'll just focus my lash on the outer portion to really get that lifted look and just really focus a lot of mascara on the inside to avoid any lifting. Yeah. And then as well, this highlighter that you have on is beautiful. It's gonna photograph well but in person it does look a little bit intense mm -hmm. i would love to see you try to soften up the highlighting contours a little bit for more of like a natural look mm -hmm. Thank you so much. James Charles oh, saying natural. Tell me about this look today. I wanted to do something that was like borderline classic and trendy on the eyes and in best one. Best one. Best one. Even Good job. My comfort zone. Same with my lips. I feel like red lips. Great job. And they look like you've done more, just yeah. in general. I think this look looks incredible. It is very impressive how symmetrical you were able to get this in a short yeah. time. I think that the eye look and just the lashes are really doing a great job of lifting your face upwards. Yeah, my you. one note for you is that your contour is looking a little bit gray tone. Oh my gosh, I know. Okay. Yeah, I totally understand that. Totally watch for that. Everything else looks really, really great. Great job. Thank you, James. Gabriel. Oh my God, Herb. So today, I just wanted to do something a little simple. And Earrings. Really focus on girl the graphic eyeliner and patterns uh, weird barbie <laughs> bubbles is back bubbles is back oh my god this is terrible this is just terrible this is terrible this is just terrible Oh my god, bring back bubbles. This is terrible. This is so bad. 
some color and some lashes and did the rest of the face. I really like this graphic liner. When this is so it, bad. More putted eyes. If somebody takes a photo of you, they're not gonna see it. Right now, I can really only see your lashes and the bottom half of the circle. The upper half is getting lost. But when it comes to being at events, sometimes making those choices to go simpler is a better choice because it's gonna photograph and look more cohesive overall. Okay. That being said, this is pretty impressive. This is terrible. I would love to see you focus a little bit more on the base. The Weird scene. Barbie is great. I look, but it looks great. Thank you. Great job. All right, you guys, I know you woke up very early this morning. These were the best of the best. Two of you guys really, really... It's impressive, he says. Ashley, I love that you use techniques that you're familiar with in order to create a successful look. Benny, your look today, I think, was beautiful, and this is what we want to see. Both of you two did an amazing job today, but it's really about who could show up at an event unclockable. The winner of today's contest... Are you fucking kidding me? Benny is top two. He's not gonna win, but top two... Are you fucking put me on the judges lineup? Is Ashley, congratulations. Two challenges in a row, baby. This means you are going to get once again an advantage in today's elimination challenge, which is going to come in very, very handy. Now that you guys had to get glammed up in a hurry for today's elimination challenge, oh, I'm so excited. We're going to be doing a style of makeup that can't exactly be rushed. Drag. Yes. Oh my God. yes! I am so excited. I'm nearly a drag queen. Okay, drag makeup has had an undeniable impact on the beauty influencer community. For today's challenge, I really want to pay homage to them. I did my first drag graduation about four ish years ago now. I am so excited. I'm nearly a drag queen. Okay, drag makeup has had an undeniable impact on the beauty influencer community. For today's challenge, I really want to pay homage to them. I did my first drag graduation about. years ago now and it was not great but i've been practicing a lot ever since we can learn so so much from drag queens as influencers <laughs> they teach us about creativity performance art quick minute humor and most importantly being able to connect with an audience so for this elimination challenge you artists will have three hours to create and execute your ultimate drag transformation from the neck up i wanted to bring in an expert for a little bit of advice i just got chills I love Trixie. Trixie Mattel, walk in. I am so floored. I cannot believe that a drag legend is going to be judging this challenge. Please welcome one of the best drag queens in the entire world, the winner of RuPaul's Drag Race All Star Season 3, also one of the funniest people I have ever met, Trixie Mattel. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Trixie, thank you so much for being here today. I am so excited to have you. Of course. I'm, I thought we're here to drag someone, right? Oh, for sure, absolutely. That is the goal at the end of the day. Yeah. Trixie, what do you want to see from them in this transformation? I bet Trixie regrets going on the show now, someone said. <laughs> so, I want to see bold choices. I want to see bright colors, clean lines. I want audiences to see you from space. Just go big. Or go home, because somebody will be eliminated at the end of the challenge today. So, Ashley, as today's compact challenge winner, that means you get an advantage in today's challenge. You will get- I wonder if Trixie's thinking, wow, y'all look a fucking mess. Make sure that your look is going in the right direction. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. To have this advantage with Trixie is priceless. And to be able to talk to her about this and actually bounce some ideas off her beforehand is absolutely incredible. Okay, that means while Ashley's starting, everybody else will be chilling on the couch, thinking, hopefully, about the look that you're gonna do with 15 minutes less time than Ashley has. All right, artists, remember to blend, but don't blend in. Ashley, your time starts right now. Go! This is going to be the shortest 15 minutes of your whole life. Okay, having a drag legend giving me this consultation is so special. Oh, oh my god, god. Trixie doesn't even like hugging. Drag. They really push it that extra up to 11 to make it. I'm a woman in drag and I'm somehow like otherworldly in a way. Okay. Like maybe experiment with like more color. This is so agonizing. Trixie's doing her probation <laughs> community service hours. Time? Oh, 15 minutes feels like forever. You could get this one or this one, and you could put your hair in a bun, and you could attach it as the pony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah! Because if you do one bun, you can attach it. I didn't even think about that, because oh I'm, like, God. so concerned about my hair. You're trying to be a different person, too. Their hair's your giveaway. Right. I don't know who that is. But if you do one bun and attach that, and then use, like, flowers or something to do, like, a to camouflage camp, Yeah, camouflage. Yeah. What right. wig do you think you guys are going to go for? I'm going for the pink one. Me, too, because I'm going to compliment the idea I have. Same. Realistically, everybody's going for the pink one because it's the cutest. I have an idea because there's this fashion doll that I own and it, that image in my mind is just perfect. I'm sorry, Benny, but I'm getting that pink wig. You have any other questions? Pink no, wig, thick ass, give him whip lash. 
Is that the right words? So many different styles. Pink ass. No, pink wig, thick ass, give him whiplash. Isn't that the right words? It is. Drag. I need a color. And after talking to Trixie, I have a really clear vision of what I'm going to do. I'm thinking blue skin, extraterrestrial. I'm going to go totally. Oh, did I say pink ass? Pink wig, thick ass, give him whiplash. All right, artists. Five, four, three, two, one, go! <laughs> Oh, you're so beautiful. Wig snatched. Literally. Sorry, Benny. Mm. <laughs> Not the fuck him. In this drag transformation, I really want to do a anime-inspired, super pink, super bright look. So I'm going for a very kawaii anime sad girl aesthetic because I really just want this to be an emphasized version of myself. Like I really want some anime blush going on here. I'm very familiar with drag. However, I've never done drag on myself. So this is gonna be interesting. So, so, so cute. Girl, I'm really pissed off. I'm sorry, but I really am. Why, what's up? I was going for that wig. Because Indigo took the wig, I have to change my look and modify it. This is horrible. Whatever. Well, still gonna beat him. Meet him deep. The sauce, I can't. <laughs> My idea is to take neon face paint, give a little streak in the hair, some pigtails, and make it look really cute. Quickly dry it out. Mike, it was off. It's about to be risky and it's all or nothing. Let's go. I have never done drag, but I want people to know that I'm not just some smoky eye artist. Like, I can also do tough work. Are you gonna do crazy people stuff? can do hard things. You are. So I'm taking an extreme risk by doing a full pink face inspired by Trixie Mattel. Oh, so girl. if- Oh, don't stress me out now. Real quick. A drag queen would kill me if my brows were not. They don't. For my drag transformation, I want to present myself as a lioness. I feel like the main thing that's gonna make it or break it is really portraying that drag eye. <sighs> Not only doing them themselves, but making sure that that brow is flat. <clears throat> I always like trippy things, so I'm gonna do four feline eyes on my cheeks and a pink skin tone. Oh, not more drawing. I'm gonna draw my lips into the shape of the cat mouth to make this a feline. As soon as I start applying the watercolor, I realize that was a huge mistake. Hold on. This isn't working. It's hatching the house. It's not layering. Every time I try to build it up, it's moving. My heart starts beating fast. No. I have to start over. Shit. <laughs> that pain. Come on, mama. Not move. Mama, you can do it. I thought I had an advantage with the time, but now that I've been set back, that advantage is no longer. And now I'm back at square one. And it does not work, we're just gonna move on. Oh, fuck, this music's insane. More powder the better. Powder the heist dying bits. One hour and 20 minutes remaining. I love all of you so much, but unfortunately, one person will be going home at the end of today's challenge. James, shut the Bring fuck it. up. If it makes you feel better, I'm going home today too. Am I the only one doing like a natural skin tone? Natural skin tone? It's natural. It's I natural. Am. At this point, I'm kind of questioning my makeup look just because everybody else is so out there. So I'm really going to have to bring it in terms of detail. Indigo is starting. It's a very beautiful look. It seems like he's a little bit snail speed. So if he can pick up the pace, slowly. I think it's going to be a really pretty look. Because his, um, of everybody, I think his, his face is definitely successfully reshaped. Yeah, his contour's in the right place. His jawline contour's in the right place. His like, shading and everything looks good. Yeah. It's crazy that he's choosing to do a sad look when every day I put on makeup to cover a sad look. <laughs> Wait, oh, Ashley's eating. Look at the blue. Oh, what's our drag name, you guys? What the when fuck? Mine is gonna be Smash Me. Eat a woman. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, I know my drag name. What's your drag name? Do too much. Ashley's Maybe. fucking crazy looking. Oh my god, insane. I just love the animal. I know, I do. <laughs> Ashley's so far ahead of the rest of them, it's crazy. Benny put his eyebrows pretty high up, like way above his natural 
brow, which is one of the mistakes that people make a lot when they first do drag. So I'm really hoping that his liner application is large to fix that space gap. Yeah, I agree. That looks great, Benny. Thank you. I have never fully painted my face like I am today, and I really- Wait, she's kind of eating too. Flawless. I'm watching her keep layering product on. I can tell it's because she's not happy with the base, but yeah. if the base isn't working, more product isn't really good. Right, it's like if you build a house on a bad foundation. Okay, this is going south. Do I stay here, and do I keep trying to make this product work? I think she looks I good. And do I start parts of this over again? No, you look good. <laughs> No! I made the decision to take it off, and I'm hoping that's the right decision. Why? Wow. You have to do something about these eyes. I feel so And the stressed. rest of the look. Oh. These eyes need to stop watering right now, because right now I look like a hot mess. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this look together, because my eyes are watering so badly. My eyes are like my worst enemy right now. So, I'm covering my watering eyes with neon tears. Okay, now I need... Oh, clever. Lashes. Oh, indigo. That look is so boring. What really sets me apart from everyone else's drags look is that not only is my skin a different color, but I'm more feline than human. I really think that I have this one in the back. Wow. Right now, I am so nervous. Indigos look so shit. Oh my god, I actually look like a little anime character right now. Ooh, Ooh you do look cute. Go away. How much time do we have left? 33 minutes. 30? Indigo looks yeah. awful. <laughs> god, Ashley looks fucking crazy good. I want to add some detail to my four eyes on my cheeks so that they look like eyes and not just white spots on my face. This is your 10 minute time call and not a drag queen 10 minutes, which is 40 minutes. This is the real thing. 10 minutes. Oh my God, indigos look so bad. Oh, these brows are not even friends. Honestly, I'm not too experienced in doing brows. Much Jesus less Christ. Drag brow, they can be my downfall very quick. What a disaster. Oh, mama's going home. With these brows. And Mama deserves to go home. Position of the brows well, Benny won the long game. Are confused instead of sad. At this point, I don't got no time. I just want to get this over with because I want something to present. Hello. Oh my God. Hi, Hi Trixie. Oh my fucking Your God. Five minute warning. Oh my God. And I did all of this this morning in only four minutes, so I think you should be okay. And remember, if you don't have perfume on, you are not. Oh, Ashley should be judging James. One minute. And then we're gonna need you to put down your number two pencils and turn in your Scantron. Ten seconds of the clock, I still don't have my wig on. At six seconds, I hurriedly put some wig tape on and I shoved that on my head. Five, four, put some glitter on. Three, two, one, stop. Whether you are in drag or not, you are now in drag. All right, I'm gonna go get James and Norbina, and I'll see you at judging. Bye. 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 All right, let's judge. Oh, wow. I think I got goosebumps. We're doing a drag show tonight. <laughs> oh my gosh. I want to introduce you guys to our guest judges. Oh, Benny looks. Or not Benny, Indigo looks awful. And also the skinniest legend in the entire world, Trixie Mattel. Skinny legend. You all look beautiful from afar, but I know this drag makeup challenge was absolutely insane. You had three hours to create these looks and show us what drag means to you. Looking in front of me, I see five insane makeup looks that I'm yeah. so No, I see do. two you know, insane, and I see fucking the rest of them are sh- hello, hello, hello. Talk to us about this makeup look. Well, I kind of had a drag persona. Her name is Unity. She's like an intergalactic, not from this type of world, and that's what I feel like, Unity. Okay. This is old woman drag. This does not look like an animal. This looks like an old woman. This is not good. This awesome. How was this makeup process for you today? Very intense. I almost didn't finish. But in the end, it came through, and I'm very satisfied how it came out. That is the so wig has ruined it for me. Because the, the eyes are pretty. <laughs> it never gets easier. Well, I think this look turned out really cool. I like the overall concept, and I like your... I hate the wig. This is going to stain you tomorrow, so be ready for that. <laughs>
The wig makes it look like Party City. Is actually really working. Yeah, I think it looks sick. Really seems like the real anatomy of his face. The shading in that looks really, really good. Yeah. I think, especially since you have these chunky, peasy lashes on your eyes, if you had 10 minutes to add small lashes around the fake eyes, they would look so much realer. Mm -hmm. That was actually an intention of mine. I just was running out of time. The eyes impressed me the most, and I would have loved to see that eye throughout, and just creating a massive, large eye to tie in with the little eyes. I think it would have been really trippy. Yeah. Thank so you. So maybe next time. Overall, I think time management is something that is of the essence. This look is great, but it could have been even greater. Thank you. All right, I'm obsessed with this look, and I think it turned out so good. Hey, hey let me yeah. see. Of everybody here, I thought you were full struggle bus. I was a little. <laughs> it didn't start off good, period, and yeah. you know this. Yep. You know what? You know what? I like it. I like it. I think the flyers. I think I like it. I think there's things about it that are messy. I think if it was worked it on, I think it's fun. I made a decision. Like from afar, this is pretty. From afar, this is pretty. And like more than halfway through that I needed to like, So if you like squint a lot. So I took alcohol and just wiped it. I wanted to nail it. This was my first drag look ever. Turkey is actually inspired by you. Ever? I did a campaign where you had the, the pink face and I- I did that myself, so I you feel did? like- Yes. I feel amazing. Like I was able to express myself. I like went so far out of the box and- I like it. Honestly, you look absolutely stunning. I'm staring at the brows and that separation and the, how they're oh, a little right bit- Oh, right here? A little bit shorter than I would have liked them. You're right, we do lose the brow a little bit. Yeah, I think the flowers are beautiful. I would love for you to paint some flowers on your face, just kind of tie oh, it together, yeah. you know, a little mix, but it's beautiful regardless. Okay. You turn this out, you whore. Thank you. <laughs> Ashley, tell us about this look that you created today. I wanted to take it up a notch and just turn myself into a- Are you fucking kidding me? This is like corpse bride drag realness she does not need to be on this competition she is fucking phenomenal fucking brilliant so talented this is corpse bride drag out of this world otherworldly was a term that trixie used and the fucking hair wheels turning so i don't think i definitely had to give you much info other than the wig turned out great i had no idea what i was going to do with my hair so that was like tea actually i think this look is extremely successful thanks everything about fucking this, like, insane the concept of just being extraterrestrial is very very proud you look like you came out of the movie avatar like i think the blending of the skin tone is very impressive as well i'm assuming you use creams I actually grabbed a watercolor first, yeah. and as soon as I realized the consistency was becoming patchy, I wiped it off yeah. completely, and I grabbed cream, and it was way more successful, and I actually set it with a blue shade in your palette, so Beautiful. to make it, you know, just like matte. So your 15-minute advantage turned into it a zero literally, advantage. Yeah, I was down to the minute. I am no stranger to a strong nose contour. <laughs> I'm aware that my nose looks like a white worm in chocolate pudding, and I'm fine <laughs> with it, but I would say for you, if I could have, like, turned back home, I would have, like, Probably not going full black. Because right in the light, you really do see, like, do you guys see the little little hyphen? Yeah. Little black hyphen? Yeah. Right in the middle. If you went just blue. Right. What I really like about your look is that beautiful pink lip. I would have loved, loved for your lid to incorporate pink crystals. Oh, and for a pink, a pink a crystal slay. under eye liner here. Because what's happening is the lashes are huge, your eyes are dark, and I'm losing your eye. Wow, I didn't even think about that. Thank you. All right, Indigo, tell us about this look. So the second I saw this wig, I knew that I had to do some. Bitch, just go home, Nye. All that fighting for a fucking pink wig. For what? This is like bubbles. Something that was like very anime inspired, very- The eyebrows? The eyebrows? and sad just to like, reflect on like indigo Fuck. himself which is usually like, very dry and sarcastic so if i were a female i'd want to like take that to like an emotional side yeah me. so that's what inspired it's it. very bad i really like this look it feels like you have an instagram filter on your face which is super <laughs> it's very bad actually the, tears, it's a really cute style. the brows dish had been a little bit more well thought out yeah so overall if the brow was a little bit more cohesive this could have looked really really chic yeah and i think you should have leaned into the pop art movement a little why bit. is no one gonna be honest this and say it's is shit the best part of this makeup because it seems like that's the only part of the makeup you were sure of. I'm sorry, I need to breathe before I cry. I think I would have changed my eyebrows. Yeah. I'm so sorry, I really don't want to cry right now. It's okay. Um, I really had higher expectations of myself, so I'm not angry at the critiques, because I agree with them 100%, and that's why I'm upset. I know, Benny grinning was quite real. You can trust yourself. I think you felt like you have to be cutesy and you inside really want to be very artistic and avant-garde. I think you should do it. Thank you. I will I will do that in the future. Yeah, absolutely. 
Honey, come on forward. Hey. Hey. Yes. All right, tell us about this look. One of my dolls that's in my collection is all full of neon colors, and I wanted to bring that to life. But then once I started doing like the eyeshadow and everything, my eyes started watering really, really bad. Yeah. So I had to compromise because as an influencer and a makeup artist, you have to make it work. It's fine, but it's like, it just isn't really giving me like drag. It's kind of giving me like what one of the girls showed up on the main day with like her look that inspires her, you know what I mean? Or what represents her. You can't just give up. So I decided to take my emotions and put it into my artwork. So I took the neon paint and I made it as a splatter tear to kind of show all the emotions I had inside. And I also did the flowers to represent me blooming as a person. Thank you for this look. It's this fine, but it's like not The colors on here are so bright and good. Love, so everything really pairs well together. Also, great idea to add the cream color into the hair. With the wig, I thought that was oh, yeah. super, super neat. I thing. wanted to tie it in because I feel like it makes it more cohesive. Yeah. One note that I would love to give you, there's a lot going on here. I would have loved to see either the flowers or the tears because I think they're kind of competing yeah. for the space on the bottom of your face right now and it makes it feel a little bit less cohesive. I think makeup wise, it could have been smarter to do that one. I think that conceptually, this is my favorite look. It's so beautiful. I love a trippy neon kind of acid Barbie look that is so beautiful. Symmetry would have made this look gag worthy. Symmetry and a couple other things, I'll be honest. I don't know how this is your favorite. You are so petite. I think this is almost too many lashes on the top. Don't, listen, <laughs> I tricked him to tell and I'm saying it to the camera, maybe too many lashes on top. Cause I almost, I can't see your eye makeup. I really yeah, can't. Yeah, I, I was thinking that too, because I do have like a really pretty cut crease with I um, only literally hair. just saw it just now. They're beautiful, but for drag, oh my gosh, you need that 55th row at the Hamburger Mary's to see this, you know? Yes, definitely understand. Bye bye, Indigo. We have a lot. Bye bye, Indigo. Yeah. Like, I was thoroughly impressed. Indigo, I was fucking written for you. Talk with drag because the looks are also different. It is apples and oranges. It's like, oh, those looks aren't even the same, you know? Kaylin. Yeah. Makeup yeah. turned out to be, in my opinion, one of the best looks. Yeah. So, Bubbles and Indigo. What I did not like is how shiny her base was. Also, her base and her highlight around the jawline was a good three shades lighter. You could tell she. I really like that color, one. Like a pink eyeshadow and didn't set this. Correct. They don't look like the same color. Yeah. No. But I think it did end up being a really successful look. And let's talk about the other pink look, which was Gabriel. It turned out good. I'm gonna stop you right there. Oh, okay. I do not think this look turned out good. Really? No, girl, she looks like a windburn Mrs. Claus. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> These eyeballs could not have been more of an afterthought. On the flip side, I think that the base is really nice. Do you feel his highlighting contouring changed the shape of his face at all? No. And to be honest, I might not even know he was a cat. I completely disagree on the cat part. I think the mouth looks really, really good. No, I think the lips no! are the part of the makeup. I, I told him that to his face. Okay, who's next? I would love to talk about Indigo because he is insanely talented when it comes to artistry, and this was a really large letdown. You guys, I had a hard time looking at him because I could see he agreed with every critique we had. He was which mortified. At least he knows he did wrong. You're right. I don't know. Something psyched him out because he's got the skill set. I do love the band-aid and the kawaii stuff. I think it is really, really cute. And his facial The band-aid and the kawaii stuff. Bounce back and grow from it. He had a great yeah. attitude about it. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Let's talk about Ashley next. This look was so cool. Beautiful. Uh, the application, her skill set is there. She sat down and went with her first idea. And she's went, way and beyond the rest of them. I like that about her. I think she's very confident as a makeup artist. We were in walkthrough and I said, what, you, what have you done with drag? She's like, I've never really done it. She's like, I've hosted a few drag balls. I'm like, okay. <laughs> That's more than doubling. Yeah. yeah. I don't know about this one. Delusion. Were you gagged? Don't you know when she came out? I was, but I've seen it before. It's Avatar. I think it was too monochromatic. I really wanted that pop. I just... Narvina, are you fucking kidding me? You've seen it before. You weren't that gagged. Compared to the rest of them? What the fuck? She would have stood out more. I think she wants to play safe, even though she's overworldly. She wants to play it safe? It's Compared so cool. to this? It's like oh my god. Norvina's criticism of this, it's so cool. It's like acid Barbie. But for Avatar, it was... Brats, I'm obsessed. I wish that the symmetry was better. I wish that the application... Was but the better. Avatar was playing it safe. It was a little messy. Right. Yeah. I love the concept, right. but it's messy. I mean, sometimes we love people even though they're messy. <laughs> I, literally, how do we fire her? And she's already on that. <laughs> Somebody please inform me. Who gonna check me, boo? I think that we have officially made our decision then. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and send them to the video lab so I can let them know. Bye bye, Indigo. It's frustrating me because I think Indigo is good at makeup. And I think fucked up this by focusing on the wig too much. But I don't think Banny is good at makeup at all. You know what I mean? Like, Banny has consistently not been good at makeup. 
So, like, why isn't Banny going home? Yesterday. Hi, Ashley. Hi, James. Your extraterrestrial look was out of this world. Congratulations, you are the winner of today's elimination challenge. Oh my god, three in a row. Thank you so much. Thank you. And we are so excited to see more. You're on to next week. Thank you. First. <laughs> Hi, Benny. Hey. Hi, James. The judges and I loved your Neon Club Kid look, even with the flowers. It's been really incredible to see your personality blossom. You're on to next week. Thank you so, so, so much. It's Brittany, bitch. You're here. I'm so happy. I told you. I need to stop overthinking. I know. That's the time for the room now. <sighs> Hi, Kaylin. Hi, James. I'm not going to lie to you. I was very, very worried about the direction of your look. This is your first time doing drag, and you took a major, major risk. Yeah. But it paid off. You're on to next week. Thank you so much. James. I like this one. Oh, I need to, like, touch the ground. Oh. Yes. Yes. white. Come over to us. Come over. We need to hug you. Hey, guys. Oh. I was really freaked out for a reason. <laughs> I definitely feel like I am in jeopardy of going home. I cannot go home on a drag transformation challenge. Hi, Indigo. <laughs> hey. It's hey. You're here. You're on the way. You're here. <laughs> I want to come and talk to you. Unfortunately, in comparison to the other contestants today, the judges and I have decided that your look was the weakest and we have to send you home. I need you to not be too hard on yourself because you are so insanely talented. It's like, it's beyond. I'm so proud of what you've done so far in this competition. Although you did not win this challenge today or the competition, I want to make it so clear to you, Indigo. I do think you have what it takes to be a star. Artist. Why didn't you say this to Bubbles? Why did you not say this to Bubbles yesterday? Better to see what you have to offer. At least I went home a queen. <laughs> yeah, that is the attitude to have. Oh my god, give me a hug. <gasps> Love you too. Okay, before I send you home, let's go ahead and sign off together. Okay? okay. Right to the camera. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching Instant Influencer episode two. I'm joined here with Indigo. You guys, he's such an incredibly talented artist, and you have to go check him out. Where can they find you? At Indigo to Hell on Instagram and on YouTube. See you next time. Bye, Bye. sisters. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this episode of Instant Influencer. If you enjoyed it... Okay, so we've now lost Bubbles and Indigo. <laughs> this show has 20 million views! 20 million! This episode has 20 million views! Fuck! Wow. That was crazy.